Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, February 3rd. <laughs> I have a shop update later today at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you want to check it out, there's going to be notion pouches, drawstring bag sets, and some tote bags. Um, so if you want to check it out, go over and check it out when it's time. But also, Jesse's <laughs> Valentine's countdown is hanging up because June kept getting into it, so I had to hang it up really high. But um, if I can remember, I'll link that pattern down below. I made it three or four years ago. And, uh, but anyways, yeah, so I wanted to come in here real quick to share, uh, one finished object I forgot to show you guys the other day when I made the video yesterday, um, cause I just forgot about it. It was underneath some stuff. And then also today's a national holiday, so I thought I'd come here and mention that. And I wanted to also show you the toad. I finished the first toad, um, last night. Are you coming in here? Come here. Come here. Her hair's a little fuzzy. She just woke up. Say hello. Look how big she is. She is a year old now. Look at you. Say hi. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to, uh, let's not get her in it because she likes looking at herself. Um, I wanted to hop on here and just share the things that I forgot to share with you. And then I'll be all caught up, I think. <laughs> so my last finished object that I made in January was the first square to the repeat crafter me crochet along that she's doing this year and it's animal squares so the first square was a polar bear and i did finish it here it is this is what i forgot to show you this is made with red heart white and this is, i think it's called dusty gray and then light blue and some black i have it woven in the black because i don't know i don't know what i want to do with it yet because i can't really weave it in on the white because then you can see it through it and i didn't really want to line this blanket but i think i might have to either with a uh, flannel or fleece or something or just make another square and sew to it and it'll be double thickness. So I don't, I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. So I just left the tails there on all the black parts. Because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with them yet. But I'm going to figure that out and deal with it. But that's my first square. It's turned out cute. So that was my last finished object for January. Yeah. So the toad. Uh, do you remember in that video yesterday where I said um, I'm going to make one. And then I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So I might not make the other two. Well, I did not really like this pattern. It's not a bad pattern. It's just, it's written weird. And it doesn't tell you when to, what colors to use and when to change colors. And it doesn't uh, tell you where to put the eyes. And I hate amigurumi patterns where they don't tell you anything. They're just completely vague. Um, and I did alter the pattern just a little bit. So I'm going to show you my first, my finished toad. I am going to make two more, but I'm going to use them. I'm going to use my altered version of the pattern. So here's the first one. It turned out cute. I just went ahead and made him regular green. It's patty green, my right heart and like a Aaron color. I'm not sure what it is. And he does have glittery eyes. They're green. I don't know if you can tell the lighting's bad <laughs> right now. But so this is the first toad. So one thing that I didn't like about this pattern is it's just made in a ball. Two pieces that you put together. The green is a separate piece and the tan color is a separate piece. And you're just supposed to pinch the, um, the, the animal <laughs> to make the mouth. I didn't like that because I knew it wouldn't stay that way, you know. So I actually, I did add two rows right here onto the ball so I think there was um 36 stitches at the end of the ball and so I, I decreased and crocheted a few stitches and decreased and then I went up and um I think I added three rows I just crocheted back solid I think it was eight stitches all together and then I decreased did some stitches decreased just to make that lip part because I didn't I didn't think it would stay if I just smushed it um so I did add those it's like three rows and then the next frogs, the other two, I'm going to add green back here. I don't like how much underbelly there is. Um, so what I'm going to do is, because the legs would cover up where uh, the color changes, I'm going to start on the next ones. I'm going to do like tapestry or whatever it's called. So I'm going to do the front part of the belly in the belly color, which are I choose. And then right here, I'm going to change to the body, the main body color and do it all the way over here. Because then the legs will cover up the color changes. I just feel like his butt <laughs> has way too much underbelly color. I think I feel like there should be more green, like down to here maybe. So I'm going to do that with the next two. So if you did go down on this, and it was kind of hard to read anyways, because it wasn't, um, like it was just written down. It wasn't like, uh, she didn't say, or he, whoever it was, didn't say what colors to use, where to add the eyes, where to sew the legs. It just says sew the legs on like the picture. And I hate, I hate when pattern designers do that. Because people... You know, I've been making amigurumi for years, so I, I can kind of do it just by doing it. But people who are new to amigurumi would be so confused. Um, 
I'm just going to keep it because I like the, sh the main shape of the body. You know, like the main idea of the body. I just, I'm going to be tweaking it. So it's going to be a tweaked version. <laughs> but anyways, this is the first one. I wanted to make the first one like a normal frog color. And then the other two I'm going to make just like Halloween-y colors. I don't know, like orange and purple or something. I don't know. But um, I think it's cute. I just, it was kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> But it was a free pattern, and I will still link it below if you want to check it out. Just know that you'll have to put the eyes wherever you think they look best. And you'll have to either alter the mouth part, or like I did, or you pinch it and you're supposed to like sew it shut. Like sew it to where, like tack it, you know. But yeah, anyways, so that's my toad. <laughs> so, um, and then the last thing, I just made these a little while ago watching Little House on the Prairie. What? Why are you getting so feisty? Look. Let me see you jump again. <laughs> Uh, do you want to see the toad for a minute? Look at him. Rub it, rub it, rub it. The national day today is Feed the Birds Day, which I love feeding the birds. I always have a bird feeder outside and it's always full. I have a huge bag. I think it's a 50 pound or 75 pound bag of bird seed in my closet in my bedroom that I keep. I, I have a big bucket here that I fill it up and then when it gets empty, I, you know, I just use that. <laughs> but so I wanted to make some birds for today. So I found this cute little bird pattern. I think it's called Selfie and Me, and it's a free Ravelry download. Yeah, it's by Selfie and Me. It's called Bird Ornament, so I made two of them, and I might make more. So this is the first one. I just picked random colors out of my scrap uh, container. That's the first one. I think he's so cute. And then the second one, I wanted to make Valentine's-y, so it's in Valentine's colors. So I just thought they were cute. So I wanted to make some birds for Feed the Bird Day. And I also, I looked outside earlier, and there were some doves out there eating off the ground. And there were some finches up on my bird feeder eating. So I love watching the birds eat. And uh, I just I just love birds. I've always loved birds. Specifically, I love cardinals and crows. Those are my favorite birds. I also like um, blue jays, but they're really mean birds. <laughs> they pick on other birds and they kill other baby birds. And they eat the baby birds and they eat eggs. So they're kind of mean. <laughs> but um, they do love peanuts, though. We used to have some out here and we would feed them peanuts. But I guess they've moved on because I haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> She's getting squiggly. Anyways, that's what I wanted to hop on here to show you guys. The toad and the square that I completely forgot. The the February one hasn't been released yet. She says that they'll be released between the 1st and the 15th of the month. So I keep checking her website because I want to go ahead and start. I'm going to I'm gonna assume, I'm just guessing that it's going to be a, a bear. Because a lot of people make bear things for Valentine's Day. So I'm assuming it's going to be like a regular brown bear. But we will see, I guess. So that's my birds and my toad and my bear square. <laughs> I will link them all down below if you want to check them out. And I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I got some stuff to do. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.